In this video, we're going to talk about binary operations. We'll start first of all by explaining what a binary operation is. From there, we'll move on and look at some of the examples of binary operations that we have. And then get to look at other properties of binary operations. Then finally end with an example. Then um, if you're looking for a video talking about uh, the properties of the binary operations, it's going to be covered. It's covered in another video. Okay. So, when do we have a binary operation? So, from the word binary, it means two things are supposed to be involved. So, an operation star on a nanny empty set A as closure property. If A is a member of A, B is a member of A, A asterisk B should be a member of A as well. So, what does that mean? So what this means is, first of all, very important, a binary operation is going to be on two different members of a set. Okay, let's say the member of a set that you're, let's say you're talking about is A. Set A has got members. Okay, let's say these are the members of set A. Okay, so if we are to have an operation, an a binary operation on this set, let's say A has direct B, right? So, this is a binary operation on A and B. So, what is very important is to note that the result should be within this set. Okay. So, if the result that we are getting is within the set, where we are getting the, the members, then it's a binary operation. Okay, so a very good example of a binary operation is uh, addition. So this asterisk can be present is just denoting different operations on the set. It can be addition, it can be subtraction, it can be multiplication, they can be brackets, and other things that we are going to see. So additions are the binary operations on each of the sets. So that's a very good example. This is a very good example of a binary operation. Let's try to see if it's indeed a binary operation on the given sets. So we have additions. So natural numbers, these are numbers of course, accounting numbers from one, you start increasing, okay? All the way up to infinity. So we are saying that additions is going to be binary operation on that set. So let's try it out. So if you say two plus three, for example, so this is what you're saying a binary. So in short, we can denote this to say two asterisk three. So where we are saying the binary operation star is addition. So what you're going to have is five. So you ask yourself, is this part of a given the set that we're talking about? So we're talking about natural numbers. So we can say 5 is part of the natural number. So we can therefore conclude to say it's a binary operation. Okay. So how about uh, subtraction? If you try to think about subtraction, is it a binary operation on natural numbers? Okay. So of course somebody may say, okay, well, let's try 6 minus 4. Okay. 6 minus 4, that is 2. Is 2 a natural number? Yes, it is. But we can't just say it's a binary operation. Think of the impossibilities. Don't we have impossibilities there? Of course we do. How about if you say 4 minus 6? What are we going to have? We have negative 2. Is it a natural number? No. So what can we say? We can therefore say that subtraction is not a binary operation on a set of what? natural numbers. So what is very important for you guys to think about, whenever you are dealing with binary operations, think of it, make sure you think of an impossibility. When there is something that is going to give you an, a solution that is out of a given set, then just know that it is not a binary operation. So if you talk about integers, of course integers these are just negative and positive numbers. Okay? So we can have negative 2, negative 1, 0, when we have 1, 2, up to positive infinity, and negative, or we can say affinity this time. Okay, 
So what about this one? Think of subtraction again. So you find that subtraction this time around is going to be a binary operation on a set of integers. How is it a binary operation? So which let's talk about the same example. Let's say a binary operation A on B is A minus B. So we get we'll use two four. So if you have two and four, you have two minus four. What are you going to get there? Negative two. So negative two is also an integer. So we can say subtraction is a binary operation on a set of integers. So wherever you put, you, p you exchange it four minus two, it will still be a two, which is also an integer. Okay, multiplication is a binary operation on each, on each of the sets of natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, new numbers, complex numbers. So it's very key that you understand the different numbers that we have. Okay, so we've already talked about natural numbers, integers. How about rational numbers? Rational numbers, these are numbers that can be expressed in the form of A over B, a fraction. Okay, so is multiplication really a binary operation on such numbers? Okay, we'll get 1 over 2 multiplied by 3 over 4. So what do you have? So all the results that you're going to be getting are going to be numbers that can be expressed in that form. So that's why we are saying it's a binary operation on the given sets. How about little numbers? Little numbers will now combine the integers, the, the all numbers, the, the rational numbers, all combined together who have little numbers, except irrational numbers. Okay. Then complex numbers, complex numbers will now involve even numbers that will involve all the numbers, even the numbers like the root of negative 2. All these are going to be part of a complex numbers. Okay. Okay, let's move. Given the sets x is equal to that and y, so we have two sets there now. Check whether each of the following operations is a binary operation on that set, on both x and y. So we'll start with x. So we have set x here yeah, with members 0 and 1. Okay. So we'll start with addition. Is it a binary operation on that set? So you can try it out. So 0 plus 1. What do you have? You have 1. 1 plus 0, it's 1. So all the results that you're getting are still part of that set. So we can therefore say addition is a binary operation on what? On x. How about subtraction? So you have 0 minus 1, 1 minus 0. So you have negative 1. You have one. So you have one result that is not part of a set. So it's not a binary operation. So addition is, subtraction is not. Okay, let's move on to, to multiplication. So we are going to have zero multiplied by one, which is what? A zero. Then one multiplied by zero, which is also zero okay so what is that so that is telling us to say it's also a binary operation because all what you're getting are part of what a part of the set so multiplication is and we need to note a very important fact just from what we've done so far okay so this is what we call we can say multiplication and addition is a commutative property okay they've got a commutative property so this can be shown like this under binary whenever the result of a asterisk b is equal to b asterisk a, meaning that irrespective of which one you start with if they're giving you the same result we can say the operation is commutative okay so we'll get to talk about that in another video 
where you are asked to show whether it's commutative or even associ associative. So associative applies in where you have got three different combinations of uh, three different uh, members. We're going to talk about that. Okay. So how about division now? Is division a binary operation on that set? So like I said, think of an impossibility. So I'll say 1 divided by 0. So that's already undefined. And the result there is not going to be part of that set. So division is not a binary operation. Of course, we may have possibilities as well. But we an impossibility to make it. So 0 divided by 1 is 0, which is part of a set. But this one is not. So it makes it, disqualifies it from being a binary operation. Okay. You go to the other set again, you do the same. So let me do, let me do what? Okay. So I'll start with addition on the, on the, on, on the set Y. So remember that addition, multiplication, and only addition and multiplication were binary operations on the first set. Is it the same for Y? Let's find out. So you have 0, 1, and 2 in that set. So start with addition. So think of impossibilities. Are there any impossibilities? Is it possible to say if you add these members, you may find a member that is actually not part of uh, the set? Is it possible? Yeah. 1 and 2. If you add 1 and 2, it's going to give you 3, which is outside that set. So in this case, we are going to say addition is not a binary operation on set Y. Because 1 plus 2 is giving us 3, which is not part of Y. From the definition of a binary operation, we say that the result should be within the given set. Okay. We are moving to subtraction. So think of an impossibility. Is there any impossibility there? Of course, 1 minus 2 is going to give us what? So... We have one minus two. It's going to give that's an impossibility. So let me even show it for addition as well. So for addition we are saying one plus two. That's an impossibility. Okay. Then this one is giving us something outside that. So we can cancel it as well. It's not a binary operation. We go to multiplication. So is there any impossibility? 0 multiplied by 1 is 0. By 2, 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is still 2. So it's a binary operation because whatever you're going to multiply in that set is going to give you what? The result within the set itself. So multiplication is what? It's a binary operation. Then finally, we need to have division there. So division, of course, is not going to be a binary operation because start just starting with 1 divided by 2 is going to be what? 1 over 2. It's not part of a set. Okay. And there's also an impossibility. There's a 0 there, so you can just say 2 divided by 0 or 1 by 0. That is an impossibility. So division is therefore not a binary operation on the given set. Why? Only multiplication is a binary operation on that set. Okay. So that's it for this video. I just hope that you've gotten the basic idea on this topic, binary operations. So watch out for the next video where we're going to talk about commutative and associative properties of binary operations.